his topic, Wanda promises to be equally invigorating and certainly near and dear to many of us is science and religion in Islam. The famous Greek philosopher Aristotle tells us that man, mankind, was designed to know. <laughs> and interestingly, when you go deeper into Greek history, it tells you that within their, within their language, the word HU means all knowledge, and M is highest of organic life. Today, as we go deeper into this conference, we can see the validity of this statement. Not very long ago, many of you might have seen this very, very interesting article on Newsweek, Science Finds God. A real literary mind will probably say, well, where was God before? He was always here. But throughout history, scientists or science and religion has been antagonistic towards each other. The more we read now, we realize that there is much more collaboration, much more recognition, much more coming together of scientists into the fold of religion and certainly in Islam. If you get a chance to read that article, one of the things that you will get out of it is Islam and Islamic scholars have been recognized for their work in science over the last years. The next speaker, Dr. Munir al Qasim, was born in Beirut, Lebanon in 1955. He was educated at Al Makassir Islamic Institute, where the foundation of his Islamic knowledge was established. He was a top student to be admitted in the pre-medicine program at the American University of Beirut. Following his migration to Canada, he continued his studies at the University of Western Ontario and earned a master's degree in medical genetics, thereafter joining the University of Toronto to graduate as a dental surgeon in 1986. Since his arrival in Canada in 1976, Dr. El-Kasim has been very actively involved in Islamic Dawah. He has visited a large number of Muslim communities across Canada and in the United States. He has also participated in interfaith dialogue and appeared on numerous radio and television programs. His audio and videotapes on various Islamic issues have been widely distributed. One of it was recently shown on the local TV station in many and in many countries. In addition to his book, Fasting in Islam, three others are ready for the press. These are Mothers of Believers, Wives of Prophet Muhammad. That's one book, by the way. <laughs> A Matter of Life and Death, and When the Call to Prayer is Made on Friday, which is a collection of Friday sermons. Dr. Munir al Qasim is currently a visiting Imam at a number of Islamic centers across Ontario and Canada. He is married and blessed with five daughters. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Munir al-Qasim. Dr. Qasim. <laughs> 